So the issue we were trying to address, it all started about seven years ago when the House of Science was established in order to help raise the, the quality and quantity of science in New Zealand's primary and intermediate schools. This specific initiative, thanks to Bright Spots, was to trial a slightly different delivery model in an area where the House of Science hadn't yet been operating, and also to gather some quantitative and qualitative data to help us get that impact evidence uh, to help scale our program in the future. Firstly, it's really just given the children lots of energy and made their science integrated into their uh, curriculum more. And the children look forward to it every week and you know, seeing their faces has been quite priceless. So this is my second year of teaching ever. I was not confident taking science before. It was very much, I will do sort of what I'm told. And beyond that, I was quite nervous. These kits have sort of done that for me. They've told me exactly what to do and uh, they've allowed me to branch out a wee bit more. It's been a great stimulus for writing because first of all I guess the novelty factor, the science is always new and that's really stimulating for kids and the language that it encourages. They've got a bank of words and new learning for their writing and so it has been particularly for the boys something really relevant to write about. They're really engaged with it. They love seeing what new boxes they've got and what is coming up next. Teachers to date have told us that they have loved the resource kits. It really allows them to deliver science in an engaging, hands-on way that they've not been able to do in the past. And for them to have access to these kits with all the consumables at their fingertips has been phenomenal. In the past, we've set up Houses of Science as separate charitable trusts around the country, but here in Napier, we were working directly with schools from our national office in Tauranga. And the reason we are here in the Hawke's Bay is that A, there has been no history of House of Science, it's given us a blank slate as far as data goes, but also they approached us because this particular kahuiako, this community of learning here in Napier City, have a challenge around primary science. They are really trying hard to improve the primary science in order to then have that foundation for students as they get into secondary. I've always liked science, but really at my house and um, in other different classes, I never really got to do science, but then when I came into a senior class, we got to do science and I really loved it. I liked the flubber because it was really fun because it was all messy and like slime and squishy. It was really cool to see how it formed from liquid and then it just became stretchier, like slime a bit. With like all my math and stuff, I used to be really bad, but when I'm learning all the science, it's helping me with lots of other stuff. I like the experiment where we made models of the earth and then figured out all the different layers. The writing probably has really benefited greatly from this too. As I said, especially my boys who you know, sometimes don't really want to write screeds of writing, but they will really get into um, scientific steps, step one, step two, step three, and their writing was, has been developed from that. I had no idea how to teach science before this. We had gone over the big idea books that were green and apparently very old and in a dusty old corner of the resource room, but I think having the kits has been really beneficial and teachers now want to go and have a go at science. Watching the videos and having the teacher background notes has really helped because you know we, we've actually you know increased our own knowledge on some of the topics. So it allows them to um, get enough background so they can deliver this confidently and all the equipment to be able to do that. So the video gives them a really good insight into the science concepts. The professional development teachers have given me feedback. That they've been really quite frightened of science in the past and have actually never attempted it because of their personal fear they've had. You know, I was never any good at science when I was at school kind of feedback. But now with the professional development and, and the, the videos especially, outlining the key science concepts, they realise it's actually okay and they don't have to teach at secondary level. This is primary science. It's very achievable and very doable and they've loved the engagement of the students when they get to do hands-on science. One of the benefits of the hands-on science is that we've been able to share it with the families at home in real time through the platform Seesaw. So Seesaw is a really good digital platform 
for sharing the children's learning at home. It's like a window into the classroom. So the children can um, use a device to share video, writing, photographs, etc. The children will often seesaw what they've done, their experiment, either partway through as they're doing it or the end product. And this wows the parents and they think it's absolutely amazing. And just their ideas and the way that they put it to their parents of, oh today we learnt how a circuit makes a circle and it all goes around and the electricity passes through the different components, which is great in getting parents involved and they can go home and talk about it. The support the Education Hub and the team that back up this Bright Spots program have been phenomenal and we've been really, really grateful. It far exceeded my expectations. So the academic rigour that sits behind this has given us a lot of confidence and upskilled us as a team as well. By having the boxes, having Chris come into school and um, do PD with the teachers makes it really explicit to teaches what we're doing to the students that this is science and this is how you could use it later on in life. I think it's helped me because I'm quite keen on the 21st century skills and teaching and how those apply to the kids and I think the science does all of those, the communication, curiosity, problem solving and sustainability, all those things. In 2021 these kits should be in every school in New Zealand and I can say that very genuinely. I think every teacher would benefit from having these, this opportunity because the children will benefit, the teachers will benefit. It's just been so easy to pick the kit up, it's all there, I don't have to run around looking for anything and, and really there's no excuse not to take it.